Hello, my beautiful vibe drivers. Welcome to your mystic affirmations for Thursday, March 21st of 2024. Many blessings to you all. Let's move directly into the energy, creating our relentless optimism, our beautiful energy of positively positiveness, using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to manifest our best possible lives now. And if you'd like to have a personal reading, because this is general for all sun, moon, and rising signs, you can visit my website, royalmystic.com. It's also running down below or on the bottom of the screen. So without any further ado, let's see what's going on. Ooh. Ooh. We are manifesting like champions. This is the energy of the Queen of Cups who's looking out into the void, into the blank space of that 95% of the unseen to call forward all things that match what we're focusing on. So it's focusing and, and bringing it into the, to the 3D realm, making it into that beautiful embryo and then letting it process itself into the 3D with the energy of the belief in doing it because there's the queen of cups putting her heart into it she's really dedicated to the thought of this so she is a master manifester and ready to move forward on all things as it is being created by this moon card which is the energy of the pisces now pisces is also cups water sign energy so pisces is uh Cups are Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer major arcanas. But when all of us embody that Pisces queen, or that, or, so you've got Pisces here, and then the, the queen of cups, I'm getting all stumbled. I'm so excited because this is, this is the fertility of creation itself. And this is the focused energy on it. We can all embody this queen because we all have it to a certain degree. We have the, all the signs in our, in our system, depending on where it was when we were born. So. That's why I say sun, moon, and rising, because it includes all of them. Here we go. Let's see what else we have. Keep your focus, and you are creating your best possible life. Is that moon energy coming through into full form? Don't break your gaze. It's happening. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine Spirit, oh good, the release of all the things that have been holding you back or whatever blockages, toxic energy, feeling like you've been targeted or under attack. This is lifting. The universe is taking that energy away. The 10 is the end of that cycle. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So let's see what fabulina, <laughs> fabulousness. I've only had one cup of coffee. I'm doing this. It's okay. There we are. Stand your ground. You've already won and you don't even know it. It's not time to push. Just hold where you've gained. Be still and know that the universe has got your back. We have flow. Flow is a beautiful energy of knowing where you're being guided with divine. Riches flow into my life in many ways and from many directions. It's really important to be open to all channels of abundance and don't limit it to your paycheck. You are not limited by that. Allow yourself to realize there is more than one way for abundance to flow to you and it's not solely dedicated to what you earn every month. It can come in from any direction for any reason. Let's see what else we have. Oh, opportunity. We allow opportunities to flow. Absolutely. I am always ready to take advantage of opportunities presented to me. Remember, all of this, all of these little things require you to be open to receiving it. The universe is ready and you're, you're, you're focusing on it. So remember that beautiful start of the reading. You're ready. <laughs> 
What a beautiful confirmation. Thank you, angels. The angels oracle, angel answers oracle cards. And let's see what our beautiful sacred geometry activation cards have to say. Ooh, cosmic flower. This is where the universe is conspiring as it is being born into existence. The frequency of cosmic flower activates our remembrance of the place we call home. The core from which we pour our magnificence out into the world. Understand that you definitely Queen of Cups is pouring that energy out as you go forward. Allow yourself to receive all that comes with it. And we have Guardian Angel. Trust all unfolds in perfect timing. You are one with divine will. Focus only on love and all you truly desire will manifest at the most perfect moment. Be patient. I, your guardian angel, am watching over you. And so it is. We receive divine help. We are always open to angels and archangels assisting us when needed. Thank you, universe. Relax. This is a really good... <clears throat> if you're not relaxed, you're in a place of feeling under attack. And that's why relaxing is good because your physical body dumps cortisol and adrenaline and all of those things when you feel under stress, which also damage your internal organs. So allow yourself to relax. It also allows you not to be in that place of resistance. Remember when I say be open to what's coming, you have to relax and allow. Um, there is plenty of time to do and achieve all you desire. Place your hands gently on your heart and allow your breath to guide you to a quiet space within. Imagine yourself bathed in golden light, flowing from the eternal heart of God. I, your guardian angel, am with you. Allow me into your heart. You will accomplish more by focusing on that which is most important in life, love. And so it is. Being in the energy of relaxing is also a place of surrendering resistance. And the three of cups, beautiful energy, meaning the Two portions are being poured into this cup. You see how they're all linked. So allowing all of that energy to be poured in, that's a double portion overflowing into your life. We'll take this. This usually accompanies with, with you know, the visual usually has angels, which are the seraphim, and they are here conspiring in your favor. <laughs> Hello, Wheel of Autumn. We will take that big fat yes. So this is the resistance being broken. This is where all that place of feeling stuck comes unstuck. The Wheel of Fortune is all red lights turning green, all doors opening, literally being catapulted or flung into your destiny exactly at the right moment. So, and all doors opening means it comes from any way that it can make its way into your life. And you don't have to know how, and you most likely don't. So don't try to fix it on something you are aware of. It's just whatever comes through, the universe has its ways, and all is accepted, and all will be known. There's the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is the energy of a gift of victory from the divine. It's also clarity and cutting through the veil to allow you to go forward with your eyes wide open. So you've already won. And here's the notification when it comes through, you'll have your marching orders and you'll know exactly what direction you want to go. Many blessings to you all. Have a beautiful Thursday. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.